Is this truly an end to hostilities? We'll have to wait and see. So as many of you know, John over at Hey Y'all Listen Up and I have been embroiled in this candy war for quite some time now, and even some other booktubers have joined into the fight. I will link his candy war playlist in the description box, but I did notice that he downgraded it to a conflict when he named his playlist, with, which I think is a positive step toward peace. John has made some very peaceful overtures in the last couple of weeks, which have prompted me to join his campaign to celebrate candy diversity. So in this video, I am going to talk about one thing that I do appreciate about candy corn. Is it the taste? Absolutely not. But it is the history of this very unique candy. So prior to World War I, most Americans did not view corn as human food. This was something that was typically used as chicken feed, and this is a time period in our history where more than 50% of Americans worked on farms. So the original candy corn was marketed under the name of chicken feed. I will link an article from the History Channel in the description box that talks a little bit more about the very neat history behind candy corn. Now, I do have to mention the fact that John somehow infiltrated my family. I don't know how he did it, but last month was my birthday and my mom gave me a gift bag with some birthday presents in it. And as I'm going through the different items in the bag, I come across this. Candy corn, unbelievable. Um, but she sincerely thought that I loved candy corn and she probably thought this because I do love holidays and I'm very big on different holiday traditions and decorations and, and all things holiday. And my brother actually does love candy corn. So, um, you know, it was an honest mistake on her part probably, but it did make me think in the back of my mind that this was part of John's campaign. Earlier this week, John did extend an olive branch my way when he offered to send me a pretty cool JFK item that he ran across in his travels. And then he hinted that this package would include some other special items. Now, I hope hostilities are done, but if this package contains more candy corn. I cannot promise the peace will hold. So I hope everyone is having a great night and thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with uh, our shenanigans here on this little corner of booktube and go eat some candy guys.